I think what has been so uh, interesting for me, anyway, is to uh, is to see that um, I mean, right now philosophy is having uh, a, a renaissance. Philosophy of consciousness, philosophy of mind, uh, ethics, because you know all of the kinds of questions that are age old, going back to Descartes or whoever. Uh, you know, I think, therefore, I am. Does that mean that a machine can or cannot become sentient, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera, uh, are also uh, is also part of uh, of an interrogation of, of what it means to be human in relationship to the machine, and that is one of the most interesting conversations that's going on, and it's actually focusing some attention on what it is that is specific to humanity, even as one is expanding uh, and connecting uh, human, you know, possibility to technology, whether it's through AI or you know, CRISPR Cas9 or name. A number of other things that are going to again challenge the boundaries of what we think of as as the human being, and of course, again, it, the the question or the challenge for us is what do we do with this? Because it can be a very dystopian scenario. You can sit here, and if you had Max Tegmark and and and, and uh, Jan Telleman and you know a bunch of people who are uh, you know really really able to spin tales of existential risk to the point where you wouldn't sleep tonight 